presidential candidates weigh in on the continued oil price hikes caused by the tensions in Eastern Europe, as well as Washington's latest oil ban on Russia. Mon Gualvez with the story. As the oil crisis drags on due to Russia's ongoing invasion of Ukraine, presidential aspirants give their two cents on what should be done to arrest the rising price of fuel. In his campaign in Pasig, Senator Ping Lakson suggests to revisit Train 2, especially the sunset provision on the suspension of excise taxes on fuel. Gusto namin, revisit na lang yung sa Train 2. Eh. Wag na lagyan ng time frame. I-open-ended na lang yung wala na yung uh, mag-expire ng December 2020 or 2022. Kasi hindi natin napa-unpredictable na talaga ng, uh, ng presyo na lang is. Labor leader Cal Yoni de Guzman, meanwhile, believes suspending the oil deregulation law is the way to go. Para makagawa sila ng mga batas uh, na uh, makapag-mitigate, makapagpipigil kung hindi mamamitigate yung epekto ng pagtaas ng presyo ng gasolina. Sa pinakamaganda, sa kagyat, dapat isuspend yung oil deregulation law. For Ferdinand Marcos Jr., who visited Abrain Kalinga, it's time to revisit his dictator father's policy in the 80s, the Oil Price Stabilization Fund. Wala tayong control dyan sa presyo ng langis. What we can do is mitigate the effects. Sana ka, kung may price stabilization tayo, eh, by the time na um, uh, maubos na yung OPSF, ay eh, maayos na yung problema. In Butuan City, Vice President Lenny Robredo says she does not fully back the sudden suspension of excise taxes on oil. There are suggestions that the excise tax will be used for gas, but it will be used for diesel and kerosene so that it will be used to socialize. For example, the payment of the aid will be done immediately. Meanwhile, presidential aspirant Senator Manny Pacquiao in his visit to Pampanga addressed reports that some of his supporters were scammed. Some were promised allowances, cell phone, and even motorcycles, while a few paid 250 pesos for an ID. Manila Mayor Esco Moreno does not have a sortie on Wednesday, but he will visit Nueva Ecija on Thursday. For News 5, Mon Gualvez, We Are One News.